This right here is the Suikui 1080p video capture monitor. You can capture gameplay footage with this little thing. And when I mean little, it's this big. How big is it? This big. This little 3.5 inch monitor has HDMI's on the back. So you can plug in anything that's HDMI ready. It'll show up on this. You can click record with this push of a button. It saves to a memory card. How easy is that for capturing gameplay footage? Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, anything that's HDMI ready, this thing is gonna take care of it for you. I've had people reach out in the past saying, well, how do I capture footage for the things that you do in your videos? I like using my own footage in my videos. And something like this could be super handy compared to those other things where you have to plug in all these deals and wire them through and patch them through and all that. You'll still need to use uh, the HDMI. You only need one of them, really. This is the HDMI in. It'll show you on the monitor. But the HDMI out can make it so it goes in through this monitor, so you can see it here, but then also goes through like a, a larger TV so you can watch it on TV while this thing's recording. It was kind of nice too. It came in a little hard case, microfiber cloth, Allen wrench, not sure why. Now, I don't know if they included one for me for this video because they did send me this for the purpose of this video, but they even sent in a uh, memory card as well as a little memory card adapter thing. Again, I don't know if that's standard. Again, I think they included that for me, but if yours includes it, hey, that's all the better. A lot of people are doing Switch videos nowadays, so let us plug this into our Nintendo Switch Check out a couple of games. I'm going to record all the footage you see in this on the Nintendo Switch from the Nintendo Switch using this device. And that's what you're gonna see in this video. And again, thank you to this company for sending me one for this video. I'm going to plug this in through the provided uh, USB power source that you see up there in the corner. And then you see the buttons right there for uh, playback, for the button right in the middle is record. And then two of the functions for the uh, HDMI here. We'll check them all out. Yeah, this thing is good for camera recording, medical devices. Of course, I'm, you know, I have a gaming channel, so I'm curious about the gameplay footage. I'm going to plug in through the switch dock. This is into the HDMI in. There's a power button in the back. Turn that on. Got it? Perfect. So that's what it looks like just by itself. So when you power on the Nintendo Switch, it's going to find it. Then they look at that. There it is. Okay. Again, so tiny, but it's there. You hit the A button. I'm going to drop into the gameplay footage by hitting this record button on top, three, two, one, go. And it's giving you a whitewash because of the camera and everything, but you can see the little record symbol up at the corner flashing. That means, hey, you're like literally leaning up against my uh, my switch dock <laughs> right there. But you can see it, there it is. That's the, um, that's, that's the screen that you're seeing there. And there it is uh, right next to my uh, uh, switch dock. Now my eyesight is not the greatest to begin with. I've been wearing prescription glasses since like the first grade. So you might want to plug it in through the other HDMI to see it on the big screen as well, which I can go ahead and do just because I'm already here. So now the bigger monitor, I'm using my Winamax monitor because it doesn't glitch out and stuff when I use my Super Retro Trio 3 Plus. And then here is my ShuQ little device here and it has doesn't really have a little tripod I mean again I can, it comes with that little thing down there you can put it on a tripod or whatever you need um, I don't have one set up here but that's you know that's good enough and you can kind of see in the background there right now it's on uh, the humans we'll check out the humans here right quick the humans coming back can you believe it so when you hit like you know left right you can see there's maybe a slight delay on this versus when you watch it on a monitor and this is still recording. You can see it's recording still up in the corner there. There is a slight delay on this machine and that's to be expected. I mean, that's the case with, you know, I um, I happen to use, I'll tell you what it is. It's an Elgato HD 60 S plus and there's, and there's a delay on that too. Uh, even more so of a delay uh, on that one. So we can check out the humans for a moment. Cubite Classics. Okay, so we have the 16-bit, the portable version, the portable version, the Game Boy version, and then here's the 16-bit version. So if you missed the humans, remember the humans, you want to have them now on the go on the Nintendo Switch. I know it's turned into like, like check out the humans. But <laughs> what a great idea. What a, what a great way to uh, check this out. I mean, I had to grab footage for this game anyway, so may as well, right? So now, what, again, what you're seeing on screen, like the main part of it, the game itself, it's being recorded straight from this device. Um, it records straight onto the memory card. We're gonna see how it works uh, when we're all done here. I'm gonna fall off. Oof, not a good look. All right, hey, I started right there anyway. Again, that game's called The Ramp. Don't worry about that. I'm just trying to get footage here so I can show you. And I'm going to go hit stop now on uh, right here. And now that we're done, let's pop it out and see what it looks like when you pop it in your uh, computer here. Again, literally just it's a little mini SD. Ooh, and this does get warm, so keep that in mind. Again, pretty neat that when you're not using it anymore, got a little case just like this, a little hard, little hard, hard case. 
Gonna place this under my seat so I know where it is next time I need to use it. All right, I do my editing on a. This is. A, I need. I need an upgrade. I need. I need a better. I need. I need a better and bigger Mac. <laughs> but you know what? It works. That's why I love it. Yeah, super fancy up in this. So here's the no-name folder, and this must be it. This is pictures and videos, and I did videos. I didn't do any pictures. See, look at this. I got two of them here. Uh, this one here, I only did for a little bit. This one a little bit longer. This was the one I did for this video specifically. And then here, just double click on it, you know, full screen style. Uh, there you go. You know, I hear a little rumbling there. Do you hear that? I, mean, I hear the music too. And you see down there on the timeline, it does have that audio there. I could turn it up a little bit more. Maybe you can hear it better. Well, that's no good. However, if you just need the B-roll, because you're talking over it or adding your own music and stuff, that might not be a bad idea. But if you're just capturing footage and not using, I mean, I oftentimes don't even use the music from the game in my videos anyway. So me personally, it's not gonna bother me at all. But if you're, for instance, if you're using this to stream, like on Twitch or YouTube or something like that, that might be an issue. Well, again, like I said, you know, you saw the, you saw it in the background and everything. So, and what do you think? Let me know in the comments.